Hello, today we're going to go over creating two-way integration with MicroFocus's Service Management Automation X, or SMAX, in the Signal4 mobile learning app. So first off here, you'll see that I'm logged into my SMAX dashboard. And the first thing we need to do is inside of the SMAX program, create a couple of custom fields for the entity to send information to the Signal4 app. And we do that by clicking on the hamburger drop-down menu and then going into the administration section and clicking on the studio option. Inside the studio option, we need to first do a search for incident because we're creating the fields under our incident for our purposes. And then we're gonna create new field. So you would click on the new field button to get the new field display over on the right hand side. And then what we want to do is we want to create three new fields and we already have them created down here for us. Um, the first one being signal for forwarding with a logical type of Boolean. And then make sure that all three fields are hidden. Our second field is going to be the signal for status with a logic type of small text. And then our third and final is the signal for user with a logic type of medium text. Now, once all three of these fields are created and saved, now we need to go over to the process and rules tab and on this section we need to create a couple of rules for what happens when a ticket was sent to signal 4 and gets updated in signal 4 how the smack system is going to handle those updates so what we want to do is expand the after change section and then we're going to click on the add button and we're going to choose the if then rule option on this pop-up we want to click on the set multiple fields button and then click on ok this is going to create an empty if then expression that we need to complete in order for our system to allow the proper updates to happen inside of the tickets. So for our purposes, we need to create three different rules here. So our first rule is going to be the trigger new signal in signal four. And our if statement is going to be as stated here. And it's going to say that when the status is changed and the current new status is not null, uh, but the new status is ready, then we're going to set the signal for status to new and the signal for forwarding to true. And then our second rule is going to be this update status when signal is acknowledged inside of signal for. And for this one, we're going to say when the signal for status is changed and the signal for status is not null, then the new value is acknowledged. And we're going to change the smax status to in progress and the owned by person to the signal for user. In addition to that, the third and final rule is going to be this update status when signal is closed in signal four. And this is going to work a lot similar to the last one. And what it is is going to say when the signal for status is changed, is not null, and the new value equals closed, then we're going to set the smack status to complete, and the signal for user is once again set to the identity of the signal for user. And for more detailed information on all of these three rules, on the Signal4 webpage under integrations, you can scroll down to the MicroFocus SMAX integration. And if you expand the how to integrate, we have detailed steps and information on exactly what these rules should look like. Now, your rules might be different if you're not just creating an event or updating events from Signal4 to incident creation. Um, but that's for our purposes is where we're starting. So once these three rules are created and saved, we now need to set up the connector inside of Signal 4. So in order to do that, we need to open up our Signal 4 portal, logged in. We click on the apps page. And then once that loads up, we go down to the MicroFocus Smax connector. And you might have to scroll down a little bit further down here and click on the create button. And inside of this page, whether it's the create or the edit, you're going to have this information down here for the configuration. You need to put in your instance URL, your SMAX tenant ID, and then an administrator username and password that you can access the SMAX system with. And this has to be an administrator. The rest of your options here are for polling of entity incident, which we're doing an incident. You can change that to any SMAX polling entity you need. Uh, the parameters you set for as you need. Um, and then your entity name, your privacy type is internal for us, the comment fields. Uh, so the comment from field is going to be an agent, so the agent is setting any comments. Comments functional purpose is for SMACs, you got to set a purpose for the comments. We're doing all, everything is diagnosis. 
and then these signal forwarding, signal status, and signal for user. These are the three options we set up inside of Smacks for the setting of custom fields so that they set what fields signal for and Smacks use to talk with each other. Once all that is set, you click on the save button and you should see an option here for enable at the top. And once you click on the enable, this bar at the top should go blue and enabled, letting you know that the connection is set up it's turned on and it is connecting to the Smack Studio correctly. So now what we want to do so we can see this in action is I'm going to go over here to the signals page and I am going to, in my Smack system, go back over to the plan section and I'm going to go under run, click on incident, and then I'm going to click on the new incident option. I'm going to create a brand new incident and we'll see this incident flow into our Signal 4 system. And once the incident is created, your Signal 4 is going to pull the information from Smacks. It's going to see this new incident and then it's going to create a new event for that incident. For our instances, I'm going to load up both the web portal and the mobile app. And we'll see in the web portal we already have the new SQL Server Unreachable event. And in my mobile app, if I click on it, I see my new incidents in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the new incident and I'm going to acknowledge it. And from here, if I go back into my Smacks incidents and I scroll down to my new one, it's going to be in progress now because that's the new option for once it's acknowledged, it shows in progress. Now, if I go back to my phone and I resolve this issue inside of my Smacks, if I refresh this page, I now show that the new incident is complete. And if I open up this incident and go to the history tab, we will show the creation event is here. And here's the update status from ready to in progress for when I acknowledge the alert. And then when I close the alert, it went from in progress to complete. And that's how we finish setting up two-way communication with Signal 4 and the Service Management Automation X. Thank you and have a nice day.